Hello there, um, I'm recording this video because some customers are having problems understanding um, exactly what causes a position to open, how does it all work. Um, so as you know we've got two core indicators, um, the whole moving average you can see in the top chart and the DiNapoli stochastic you can see in the bottom. These are the two core indicators that we use, plus we lose, use a lot of trend indicators. Um, these are additional indicators, you've got the ADX, you've got, um, oh if I scroll down, you've got trend signals, that's another indicator we've recently added, you've got simple moving average and exponential moving average. So you've got various other trend indicators to filter out false signals, but the core, two core indicators are these two here, um, and I'll go, through the, I'll go through the others in a minute, okay? So if I scroll back up to trade cycle start, okay? Now, when you say trade cycle start, it's where you select your parameter, uh, sorry, your time frames for these both for these indicators. Because there's ti five time frames, it means that both the one hour, in this case, the two hours, and uh, the eight hours, the 12 hours, and the daily, all of these time frames, both the indicators must be saying bullish or bearish, okay? You've got a little indicator there saying buy or sell. Now, the DiNapoli stochastic, has some custom code in it to filter out noise, like here where the blue and the green line are just going up and down. There's no real decision of a, of a turn, a crossover. Whereas this one down here, the DiNapoli Stochastic actually will uh, identify more pure um, price, price reversals. And if you go to the product page for that, it'll tell you more information how that works. And I'll go, go through the indicator in a minute, okay? So the idea is that on all of these time frames, both of these indicators, um, if you've selected them both, must be um, bullish or bearish for it to open a position. Now that's if you don't use any of the other trend indicators. If you start adding the trend indicators, then obviously um, that will affect the, the whole uh, results. Now, again, I wanted to say that um, because this strategy is a trend strategy that it's waiting for all the indicators to be the bullish or bearish, you'll get periods of stagnation. So you might have up to a week where there's no trades running. The more symbols you add, the more probability you'll have trades opening a lot more. Um, having a lot of positions open all the time doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make money, okay? It doesn't mean that at all. If you have 10 trades in a year and you make 10,000, and you had 1,000 trades in a year and you make 1,000, which is the better one. So this shows you the time frames you can have. You can modify these time frames, but we find that 1, 2, 8, 12, and daily as a default setting works for um, some of the parameters, or most of the parameters, and then you need to... Uh, oh, sorry about that. That's my Alexa screaming. I must have said something. So again, if you've selected these time frames, these are going to be used by the robots. Now, what you need to do, so robots, by the indicators. Now, if I go to whole moving average, it says in include trade signal one, yes. Include trade signal two, yes. What that means is, if I select yes for all of them, the whole moving average will use all of these time frames, multi time frames, okay? If I only select the first one and the rest are no, it, the whole move, uh, the whole moving average will only um, use the one hour time frame. So whenever the one hour time frame on the whole moving average says buy or sell, it will open a position. It won't wait for the, all the other different time frames to actually execute. I normally leave them all by default yes, but you can experiment with different parameters to come up with different results. Um, so the same with the Napoli stochastic. If you just had say uh, include trade signal free, trade signal free is eight hours. It would mean that on the eight hour time frame, if I go to it, it would mean that um, the DiNapoli stochastic has to be buy or sell on that eight hour time frame. And it wouldn't wait for all the other time frames to say buy or sell. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. If you have a multi time frame um, signals, it means that all of them, all of the time frames, have to say buy or sell before it enters a trade. This reduces, um, this actually increases the probability that your position will go in the direction it should go in. Not always, but it actually gives you a better probability. And if you look at the real-time results on my FX book, you'll see that the actual uh, probability, I think the percentage ratio is quite high. It's like 80%, something like that. Um, now, you do get runaway trades. Sometimes you'll get a position that will just go crazy and go against you. Because this is Forex, because Forex is volatile, and it's influenced by fundamentals like the news and stuff like that, it's not predictable. Um, the only thing you can do is the best you can to manage these positions. That's why it's best sometimes to look at the charts, look at um, strong support and resistance, um, use the news release manager to make sure that you, you don't trade during news releases. Little things like that to prevent um, rogue trades positions going into the red. We've also added a new feature, if you look at another video that actually tells you about it, it's max drawdown stop. 
that will actually stop your robot close positions if your drawdown goes above a set value okay so that's the uh, multi time frame indicators they're the two core indicators that decide whether you buy or sell um, and then you've got trend indica trend indicators as I mentioned before the ADX you can decide whether you want to include it or not you can set the values you can set the threshold for it and you can set the time frame so you can mess about with different parameters to actually get the best results okay the only thing I will say is this strategy is quite complex there's a lot of parameters it's not really good for optimization I don't know I tried it with uh, C Trader and it just takes forever and unless you've got a super powerful machine but what I find works best is to run it on clean data not not to fit the data to suit the robot but to do a forward test on clean data and see if how the result results are and then to run the results on a demo account with real data and then if that's giving good results you then get the best performing indicate uh, the best performing symbols then you put those on live because you've 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 tested them in different scenarios and it's like a, it's like a production line to get the best performing uh, positions again like I said the cycles will change every month and in a previous video I mentioned that you should um, re-optimize or re reconfigure your parameters every month and um, just to make sure that they're still giving good backtest results okay